Guys, here on the table, we've got everything kind of laid out harness, bolts, controller, motors, linkage, all that fun stuff. I'll show you real quick. Put the cover on first. You want it that linkage to sit about right there, not even about halfway cocked out. That way, you can set the boards on there and kind of fit the groove. You can see the groove here, this little plate comes off. Set the plate in there like that. Actually, you'll leave it about half cocked here. Motor will go like this. Kind of show you out here. Get it set in there. May have to So you just have to tap on the sweet spot in the gears there. There we go. Now it's set in there like that. You have three Allen heads, bolts. I use these by, by hand, five, 30 seconds. Just Allen head, T-handle. I don't really recommend doing it with a impact or you know, ratcheting a wrench or something, but Usually by hand, that way you don't strip it out. I will say these new motors, or it looks like they they are they feel thicker and they have that textured material now on those on the motor housings. Uh, I'm gonna show you real quick. These are those slide pins right here. You need to grease these all the time. That's what they were talking about maintenance. There's one up here as well. You can see right there. Um, there's just a good amount of maintenance you have to do depending on what environment you're in. Make sure those are, you know, WD-40 or greased up, you know, every now and then, and that's just part of the maintenance plan that we talk about. That was pretty much it, pretty easy to get set up. And we'll start showing you the installing of this truck, thanks. All right, guys, we're gonna go under the truck here of this 22 F-150. The crew cab long bed here, I'll show you. Tight fit, but there's your motor. Linkages these. This that's your connection. It'll go right there in your plug. Poke it through. Pretty easy. Just ran the wires up here. Grommet the light installed up there. thing there pretty straightforward run it through here on top of that loom and into your bay underneath the sheath go to this side same thing remember those bolts on the inside there one of the frame you'll have to do with an opened in 13 that's the only thing to get inside there again same thing here wire loom it all the way down Zip tied up, drill hole. You don't have to drill a hole, but kind of deal on some of these up in there. That's pretty much it for, for underneath here. You can see nice, clean install. It goes up through there. And, Take y'all above here. All right, so here we're inside the cab. So you ran the wire, we taped it up and everything that would go underneath here. Do your brake pedal and everything. And then it'll be that plug right here. Where the wires are, it's up there. And the, we just took the, the plug out right here. I'll show you if I can get my hand in there. We were just testing some stuff out, but there's the plug with your wire tap.
we weren't getting a good connection on the tap so we just wired straight in pull some sheath back but we'll we'll still tap it there but pretty much that's what you're looking at sorry right there your white and green goes to that blue wire Then that white wire off the off your amp harness will go right next to it. There's a green wire right to the right there of that white wire. You can see it. And it'll go right there. That's pretty much it. And then you'll plug it back in. You'll get your pigtails here. Purple to purple, purple and black to purple and black. Plug it to your LB2 port there. pretty much it it's already plugged in there yeah, like I said, it's already they're already down so once you plug it in obviously it'll go back up but that's pretty much the the only difference between these and the, the older ones is those have this new uh, two wire system that gives you the power to to the steps when the door opens and closes that's pretty much it here on the inside. All right, guys, we're here we're outside with the 22 F-150 Lariat four-wheel drive, FX4. It's got the two-inch Fox headling shocks on the front, coilovers. Yeah, there. It's pretty almost level. It's still about a half inch lower in the front than the rear, but that's kind of where you want them. And we also did some amp power steps. We're just going to show you the two in one here. suck up really nice can't see them really clean install if y'all have any questions let us know hope y'all subscribe to our channel thank you